when you learn Thai, maybe your Thai teacher or the basic Thai grammar book or vocabulary teach you to use mark. For example, Aroi mark, Sui mark, Ron mark. Today we try new words. Welcome back to Thai by Shom again. Today I will teach you how to say something that it's so much, very much by a boy using mark. Let's start. Number one, you can just repeat that adjective. For example, วันนี้ร้อนมาก. Change to วันนี้ร้อนร้อน. This food อร่อยมาก. Change to อร่อยอร่อย. That flower สวยมาก. Change to Suai suai. It's the same meaning. Number two, you use the word were. Were were is from over, overreacting, over something that too much. Uh, this is more spoken Thai and used by younger people. Uh, for example, oh, วันนี้ร้อน were. Today is so hot. ไปกินร้านนั้นไหมอร่อย were. Shall we go to that restaurant? It's so delicious. I will not buy that bag because it's pang word. It's too much expensive. Number three, it's like English when you when you want to make some adjective like have stronger meaning, you put freaking right. In Thai, we say code, code. You can put code in front of adjective or behind the adjective. For example, วันนี้ร้อน code, but. Please don't use to the people you are not close to. You can use just your close friend. You cannot use to other person as well because it's a little bit rude. But it's okay to use among friends. Okay. For example, Ron code. Hey, try this. D code code. D code code. Look at that girl. Code na rap. Number four. More rude. This word is not freaking. Is that word is sat sat? It means animal. It's a it it is a swear word when you yeah when you if you call somebody with this word that means you mean that he is a or bad person. So, but um, I would say I in this content I didn't mean to teach you root word, but it's also fair to you to understand some uh, common or most used root word root ninoi you know when you go to Thailand or when you have Thai friends so at least you got the right to know right don't take it wrong or don't think that Thai by Shom always teach um, root word no okay don't 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 take it wrong for example you went to to, to the party and you eat quite a lot and then you tell friend that are oh, you so full or oh, im sat <laughs> you know like that means imma you, you cannot handle again try not to use this and number five is super rude don't use it don't use it <laughs> just don't use it it's the word okay um i don't want to pronounce it yeah i will not pronounce it 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 means Okay, and um, Thai people they they know that it is so rude word to say, um, so that's why they try to avoid the real sound by using chia with with ch sounds. For example, ron chia chia. If you learn Thai, it's very important to uh, use a variety of vocabulary when you make a sentences. So you will speak more like a native speaker. Just like in English, when I learn, I try to use many different words to, to, to make the sentence sound more natural. Alright, if you like this content, don't forget to follow my YouTube channel. I try my best to um, record more video for you guys and also like my fan page. This. Okay, see you next time. สวัสดีค่ะ